Hi guys, so today we're going to do a girly boho chic jar and a French shabby chic jar. This is the boho chic jar. You see how cute it is? And this is the French shabby chic jar. Okay, today you're going to need two little mirrors, um, some beads, a large beads of your choice, two large beads, two small beads, and some decorative beads, um, maybe flat. Two rings, like plastic rings, like for kids. Um, you can find those in the beading section um, in the kit bead pack. Um, then I have a, like a Hello Kitty necklace and some uh, flat pieces that I'm going to glue on the edges. And some ribbon, some gold ribbon and some nail polish that you don't use anymore. Or just some nail polish that you like the color of, E6000. Also your hot glue gun. And two jars. I chose a Tostitos jar and a pint size mason jar okay so make sure you have all your supplies before you start okay so this mason jar it comes apart at the lid like a lot of them do so i just decided that i was going to actually glue the lid on the top because i don't like when the lid comes off you know when i take the top off my jars so because because I guess a lot of people use these jars for foods and it's easier to do it like that but I like to glue the tops on because I don't use them for food well at least not in this tutorial <laughs> so after you glue your lid um, like make sure it gets dry I'm going to use this old nail polish that I don't really use and it's in a pastel green I don't use this because it chips off easily on my nails but it's a pretty color, so I don't want to waste it. I've used it a few times and it's really pretty, but it just doesn't stay on my nails for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and use it as a paint. I'm painting around the edges and I'm actually going to paint the entire lid with this nail polish because, you know, you have all that pesky nail polish in your bathroom, in your, um, you know, wherever you keep your nail polish and if you don't wear it's just gonna you know get all sticky and hard and go to waste so this is a great way to use the products that you buy and end up not liking so um you have any old nail polish that you just don't wear anymore use it to you know craft with because it's really you know it's really durable it's opaque and it's you know you don't have to go out and buy the paint color if you don't have it but you have the nail polish so that's what I did okay so and the little brush you know it takes a little while to paint it but you know <laughs> it's worth it in the end or you can actually just get a larger brush and paint it if you like but I just went ahead and stuck with the little paint brush that comes with it anyway so now I'm going to paint the white top with my, it's called Snow White if you can't see it because it didn't really focus well, but this is my other nail polish and it's in Snow White. I do use this nail polish actually, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and use it since I'm already with the theme of the nail polish painting. <laughs> and plus a lot of people, they don't always have like acrylic paints on hand and they want to do a craft and then they get discouraged and say, oh, well, I don't have any paints. So I'm not going to do this craft. Well, get your nail polish. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. So just paint all around. Get it all. This nail polish is really pretty and it actually leaves a shabby chic look on the top because you can still kind of see the green peeking through, but not so much. And... You know, you don't really have to put any coating over it because it already has that um, that sealant inside when you paint it, you know, inside the nail polish already. So you don't have to worry about it chipping off because it's already got the good stuff in it. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so just paint your whole lid. Um, this one went faster because I guess this nail polish is thicker. This is a better quality. Okay, so also I have some green glitter nail polish by NYX and I'm going to actually add this to my green lid just to give it a little added sparkle. You know, this one is the boho chic one, so it can be wild and <laughs> silly and crazy because, you know, it doesn't have to be 
perfect either. That's the great thing about shabby chic and boho chic. It's not perfect. So if you mess up, it just looks like you did it on purpose. <laughs> and the colors don't really have to match on the boho chic. They just have to coordinate. <laughs> when I mean coordinate, I mean just, you know, they have to look good, you know, next to each other. Which is, you know, I'm using mostly jewel tones. So that's what's going to, you know, make it pop anyway well so I'm gonna finish painting this up with the glitter nail polish and you know I'll, this will also seal in the uh, green nail polish so it won't chip since that one is the the one that chipped <laughs> so you're getting an extra sealant cover when you do the glitter nail polish on top which is what I'm doing or you know if you like to design like do nail design you can also do polka dots or whatever so then I'm going to take my mirror and just glue it on to the back or I'm not the back but the top of the lid and I'm using the E6000 you know because it is a glass and it does work well on glass so just pop it right in the middle and then make sure it's in the middle you know work with it till you get it in the middle then take one of those little plastic rings that you can find in the beads like you know they have the kid beads at Michael's just like all assorted beads for children but well, that's where I found these little plastic rings um, my kids wanted some beads so I bought them some beads and there were a bunch of rings in there I'm like what are these rings for and I you know I found a use for them you're gonna put it on top of your mirror with the glue because your large round bead is going to have to have something to sit on so I'm using that as sort of like a, a stand for the bead to stick on. And I'm going to glue this bead on top of the ring with the hole going, you know, down so you can't see it. So just put your large bead on top of that ring. There you go. And now you have a, a hole on the top of the bead that you need to cover. So you get another bead, a smaller bead. I got this little floral looking bead from Michaels um, they, they come in a pack but it's like a, um, a magenta pink it's really pretty it has flowers on it so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it to the top of my larger bead to cover up that hole okay there we go now I have this little sticky rhinestone border and I got that in the scrapbooking section. They sell it at Michael's as well. And I just stuck it along the edge, you know, the edge of the lid. Now I'm going to take my piece bead that you can get at Michael's as well. Is this is this a commercial for Michael's or what? Yes, it might as well be. So anyway, you know they have those piece beads everywhere, but uh, so I went ahead and glued it to the side. Of, and then I'm going to take the other piece of the sticker, the rhinestone sticker. This one isn't clear. You can get any color you like, but I think the clear just adds a lot of sparkle to it and catches a lot of um, light as well. And you know, already have the green glitter sparkle on it as well, so I didn't really need a color. But you can use any color you like. I, this is just what I had, so I used it. Um, yeah, so go ahead. It's self-adhesive. You can use glue on it if you like, but the self-adhesive sticks pretty good as well. So now you have half of the lid covered on the edges. Now I'm going to um, glue the other piece bead on the back of it. So I have a marker to where I'm going to actually glue on my ribbon. And the ribbon that I chose was a, um, some gold ribbon I got in the dollar section of Michaels and it kind of almost looks like Christmas tinsel or Christmas color because it's that really beautiful sparkly gold and it's, um, it comes with different types of ribbon in the pack and it's just it comes with a little bit but they're really thin thin enough to go around like the top of a jar so I'm just gonna cut it you know to size and now I'm going to glue it around the edge of my lid 
So there we go. And it just gives it a different look. You know, it's not all matchy matchy. It's not perfect. There's different textures on the top, just like Boho Chic. So you're getting that different texture, different color. Um, there's sparkle on it. And it's just really, really eye catching. So, um, and then right here where the ribbon meets the rhinestone, I'm going to actually stick a little pearl right there because I don't like how it looks when it's just nothing there. Okay. So I got my pearl there and it just looks so cute. You know, pearls, rhinestone, gold, they all go with anything. So you don't have to worry about it just like clashing because it really doesn't. It kind of adds that little old boho feel. Okay, so now I'm going to put the ribbon, ribbon on the other side with my E6000. Now I do have my hot glue gun plugged up and I am going to use it. So if you have yours glued up, um, you'll understand why in a few minutes. <laughs> so I like to use the E6000 just for quick jobs because, um, especially on metal and glass, because I know that a hot glue gun, um, works best for certain things and E6000 works best for certain things. And since you're going to be unscrewing this cap a lot, you're going to need some strong glue. So anyway. So now you have your uh, jar and now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue some decorations on the side. Um, I got like some little, um, they have these at Michael's as well. These little decals you can find or little heart shapes or in the scrapbook sticker section or some old jewelry that you take the, you know, the back of the earring off of or whatever, like that little blue heart down there. I actually took the back off a clip on earring and just stuck it on there as a really pretty jewel heart. So I took, I got this Hello Kitty necklace. It was really cheap, like $2 um, at like a beauty supply store. And I just loved how it sparkled. It has rhinestones in it, like uh, Magneta and purple. And I wanted to hot glue that on the jar because this jar is actually for my kids room or bathroom whichever they choose and so I'm always making stuff for them when I make something for me so they don't feel left out so um then you can take alcohol and kind of get the pieces of glue that show through out so don't worry if like you see some glue that's like exposed it will come off if you just put some alcohol on it and just like get the excess off with your fingers or like some small scissors it'll come off um and I like to use the alcohol to get it off. It comes off easy. Now, you're, I'm going to the Boho Chic. I mean, I'm going to the Shabby Chic um, lid now. And gluing my mirror on top of that one. And, yeah. So, make sure you get enough glue on there. And, stick it on. Make sure it's in the middle. And, you can kind of slide it around if you don't drop it directly in the middle like I did. I had to slide mine around a lot on this <laughs> on this lid because it kept slipping and sliding and sliding and slipping. But hey, that's a part of it. And if you get any um, scratches on your paint, you can just go right ahead and fix it like that. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, so now I'm going to get my large bead I got this one in brown so it's like a really rich brown and I got my trusty ring again from the kids beads and I'm just gonna glue it around like I did on the last one and put it in the center of my mirror um, yeah. so go ahead and stick it in the center of your mirror now this one is going to be a little bit different so um, you gotta make sure that it's centered properly which I had a little bit of trouble since I wasn't, you know, drawing circles and making sure, you know, it was in the center. But I got it right finally towards the end. <laughs> so you're going to go ahead and glue your bead on. Make sure it's a large bead because um, they do sell these in like packs of like three and four. And sometimes they sell them individually. Like if you go to a bead store. You can get like a bunch of different types and different colors. So then I have this really yellow um, 
floral bead it's just like the other one I put on the boho chic one but it's yellow um, actually I dropped that one so <laughs> I went ahead and got like a, a different color one what color is that did I choose it's like a there you go it's like it's still kind of like a cream yellow okay so yeah we're gonna go ahead and put this one on there since I didn't drop it I'm a clumsy klutz <laughs> okay so now that that's there I'm gonna I have this pearl bracelet that I don't use it's not real pearl but I don't wear it so I'm going to go ahead and use it on my craft um it came in a set of pearl earrings with the necklace that I actually wanted, but I just didn't ever wear the bracelet. So I said, you know what? This has been in my drawers, my drawer for years. So I'm going to go ahead and use it in something. I'm tired of looking at it in my jewelry box drawer. So I just put some glue around the mirror and I'm gluing the necklace around the mirror as sort of like a border. And this will add a lot of dimension to it and make it look more chic. Okay, so now that I have the pearls all the way around the mirror, you can see how it's coming to, uh, coming together nicely. Yep. Okay, this is a close up, and the camera's not that focused. I'm still, you know, I'm still trying to figure out this camera. It's very complicated, but I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then you can um, kind of see where there's a little bit of glue that you need to get off with the alcohol uh, swab again. So now I'm going to take my gold ribbon and I'm going to glue it around the edge of this lid and like you really can't see where I'm doing it right now but basically I'm just putting some E6000 glue around the edge of the uh, jar lid before I um, stick my ribbon on. and. So this ribbon gives it a lot of um, dimension, texture, and it's just really pretty to look at. Like and it sparkles in the light as well. So if you don't have rhinestones or glitter or anything and you want to add some sparkle, get some sparkle ribbon and you'll have to worry about the mess. Yeah. So like right here, I just kind of fit it together and just cut the excess off. But um, you'll see how it comes out. It's really pretty. And if you want to add extra rhinestones or any extra things to your lid, feel free. So this is how it came out. And I'm going to use this to add some, uh, I have a fleur-de-lis that I'm going to add to the jar because my bathroom is decorated with like French shabby chic. And I have fleur-de-lis everywhere in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this little fleur-de-lis metal decal on there that I also got from Michael's in the scrapbooking section. <laughs> you can find a lot of great stuff in the scrapbooking section. Okay. I'm, I'm not joking. So here is my shabby chic, a French shabby chic jar. And I think it looks really pretty. Uh, it looks very expensive like you might have paid 20 bucks for this at like <laughs> Pottery Barn or you know Pier 1 and I said you know I'm gonna make my own so here are both of the jars together see how cute they look now if you want to add a border around that boho chic mirror you can but I left it plain because it's just you know it's kind of cute that way it's boho chic it's not supposed to be perfect so um, I'm going to actually use these to put some things in there and what I chose to put in there is lipstick lip gloss lip balm whatever you like to put um, in there cute you can put q-tips cotton balls whatever you like in there um, products some people put bath salts or whatever you choose this one is really pretty you see how the colors are just popping on yeah I love it and I'm going to go ahead and put the lipsticks in there so you can see how it looks as a lipstick and lip gloss and lip balm jar 
Of course, I'm not going to give my lipstick to my kids, but I'm just showing you what it looks like. They can have they can have the chapstick and the lip smackers and stuff like that, but I'm keeping my lipstick. Okay, so um, yeah, so it's really pretty jar to store your makeup in, or even your jewelry, whatever you choose to stick in there. And you can just stick it right on your desk, on your vanity, in your bathroom, and you have a really decorative, pretty jar. And if you're making this as a gift, you know, it, it's age appropriate because, you know, you can give the boho chic to someone like a, a teenager or a kid. And then you can give the shabby chic one to an adult, your mother, um, aunt, grandmother, and they will love it. They're going to be like, oh, it's so beautiful. Who made this? And there you go. This is the shabby chic French and the boho chic girly. So if you like this, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and tell me what you think of this DIY. And I hope you try it. Uh, send me the links if you do make this, and I will check it out. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching so much. Bye-bye.